Hi guys, welcome back to another podcast, uh, making bread this morning as usual, because that's what you gotta do every day. Uh, today I want to talk about the usage of cell phone in a restaurant. I don't know what happened with this generation of people, or even the older people. People just talk on their cell phone on the speakerphone. So what kind of savage does that? Uh, I think it's totally unacceptable. I don't understand how people feel entitled to speak on their cell phone on the speaker. They're screaming, so do you use a fabric softener with your underwear? And I go like, what, what, what's going on here? And you got people around you. Nobody wants to hear you. Some people are trying to have a date next to you. Right? So, but uh, I'm just talking to my mom. I'm just talking to my dad. Yeah, but who? I don't want to talk to him. I don't want to hear about him. I don't know who you are. I don't know who your family is. Why don't you shut the F up? I'm trying to have dinner here. Right? What's going on here? When did this become reasonable, accepted, it's not accepted, I don't accept it, so far so that I actually put some signs in my restaurant uh, saying no speakerphone. And then people will still talk on their speakerphone. Then I go tell them, ah, you haven't seen the sign, I guess. Eh, no, no, I saw it. I just, I'm just talking to my dad. Yeah, yeah, but it doesn't say it's allowed. It's not allowed unless you're talking to your dad. It says it's just not allowed. I, it takes some balls, right, to decide that your conversation with your dad is more important than what your neighbors, right? You decided that your stuff trumps everything else that's going on around you. No consideration for other people. No, like, you don't know if some people are having a serious conversation behind you. People keep their voices down in a restaurant. There's a reason for that. Your private conversation is a private conversation. Who wants to hear about your mom? I don't. I find it amazing like, the level of unawareness or just personal space, right? Like, do we, we live in a tight world already, right? Where space is premium, right? You go to a restaurant to have a nice chill evening and then you got this savage screaming on his phone next to you, explaining how the stock market will be crashing next month. And of course it didn't, but it's not the point. People, they just don't care. They just go like, well, it's me, 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 and me. And uh, sometimes I ask them as a joke, say, is the speaker broken on your phone? You can't put it here. So no, but I, I'm just talking. Yeah, yeah, but there's a speaker here, right? You can actually put it to your ear. And actually the sound quality is better, which brings me to the next thing. It's like, if the sound quality is better in the cell phone, why? I don't understand why you're not talking on that. I'm always going for quality. Who wants to have shit sound? Is there, you know, sometimes my wife is busy in my other restaurant and uh, she's doing something with her hands. She puts me on the speaker phone. Then I can hear that I'm on the speaker phone and I just tell her, I'll call you back later or call me when you have time. It's fine, you know? Things can wait five minutes, right? The other thing is you have an important call to make. Why don't you get the fuck out of the door, go make your call and then come back and then chill, right? Sorry for the big word here, but it's kind of ridiculous at one point. The other thing I find super amazing is that people will plan a date with their boyfriend or girlfriend and then, <laughs> watch this, and then they're in the restaurant and then they're playing video games on their phone in front of their wives. I don't know, as a man, right? I plan a date with my wife, right? Meaning it's, it's gonna be a special night, right? It's gonna be me and her and everything. And then the last thing I would dare do is take out my phone, right? My job as a man is to take care of my wife, entertain my wife, uh, not look bored even if I feel bored, right? My job is to make sure she's happy and she's having a good time. I've been married for 18 years. I'd like to stay married for another 18, right? People, they just, they, I see guys, right? They're right like, the wife is right in front and they're on their cell phone playing like some RPG games, right? I play games. I've got three screens, right? I play massive games. There's a time for everything. But if you, when, when I go out with my wife, right? I got subjects to talk about. I prepare, not prepare, but you know, I've, I've, we've got personal time, right? We, we should be together and talk about stuff, catch up and things, not talk about business. And, you know, just talk about life and, you know, smile at each other, cheers with each other, uh, share some food together. Hey, let me try yours. Let me try. I'll, I'll try. 
try mine, right? I don't get it. In the middle of dinner, waiting for dinner, right? The wife is like, is like right in front of you, right? Your life partner, and then you're doing this for an hour. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm almost finished. I'm almost finished. It's kind of, uh, I find it fascinating. I say, what kind of woman would stay with a guy who invites her out for dinner and plays on his cell phone in front of her during dinner? Like, I, I think something's got lost in translation for me because I don't know. I really don't know. It's a restaurant. Keep your voice low, entertain your guests, entertain your wife or your girlfriend or your friend. Right? If you're gonna be playing video games, right, why don't you just Uber your food, right? Have it delivered at home and at least play on the big screen. Right? Why, why bother going to a restaurant? Right? And there are some people get really offended because I tell them you can't use your cell phone in a restaurant. You just can't. You gotta put your earbuds in can't use it. They go, well, if you think that, you know, uh, we're not going to come back here, please don't. If you're going to be screaming on your cell phone in front of all my other customers, disturb my restaurant, everything, get the fuck out. We just, just can't. We don't need you. You're the kind of, you're savages. I don't, there is no reason for that kind of behavior in a restaurant, right? You're, this is not your personal space. This is not your house. This is not your living room. I pay the rent here. It's my house. I make the rules. And the rules say that you can't be screaming on your phone in front of everyone. I find it fascinating. People, they just, I, I, I don't, don't know if it's like a poor education or, you know, it's, I really don't know where it comes from. It's like, it's like their mom, like, you know, didn't, I don't know. Sometimes you think there is a few slaps that got lost in traffic there, you know? When I was a kid, got belted a few times. You learn fucking manners. You learn when it's time to speak, when it's time to shut up. Right? You learn to respect your neighbors. It's probably the same people who listen. Uh, they're watching like a movie at 3 a.m. in the morning with the full Dolby surround, not caring about their neighbors. And they fucking wonder why people hate them or people don't want to deal with them. Right? If it's the same, right? If you go into a business meeting, right? I'll, I, I'll make it like this. If you go into a business meeting, right? And in the middle of your business meeting, you take out your cell phone to take calls or play a video game, well, your business meeting is over, right? Nobody's going to tolerate that, right? So you're saying that because it's an opportunity to make money to improve your life, you won't do it. But when you're with your wife, your life partner, right, the person you love and you want to stay with who's making your life better, because, for example, without my wife, you know, her life would be pretty hard for me. You know, she takes care of a lot of stuff, takes care of my emotion, but so meaning that because your wife is not actually giving you money, you can disrespect her and just do as you please because your video game is more important or interesting in your wife. Think about what it says, right? says, honey, you are so boring that I will take out my cell phone and start playing a video game in front of you. How rude are you? I don't know. Maybe I'm just getting old. Maybe that's it. I'm just getting old. I don't know. It's, uh, I, why don't I, you know what I wish? I wish these people would be the first one to get the uh, cell phone implant in their head. It's probably the same kind of people would actually buy like Google glasses and shit like that. Like they just don't, they, they checked out a long time ago. Kind of crazy. I think it's just going to get worse and I'm still going to put more signs in my restaurants and say, hey, keep your voice down, right? This is my, my establishment. Anyway, it's up to you to do whatever you want in your restaurant. But you know, if you're like in a hot dog place or in the middle, anyway. Even if you're in the middle of the subway, I was going to say if you're in a subway or something, right, speaking on your speakerphone is unacceptable. The only time this should be used is in a fucking car. In a car, right? That's what they were designed for. In a car. In a car or maybe, I don't know. Where else can you use that? 
I don't know, I never use a speakerphone. Actually, to be honest with you, I don't even know what my phone sounds like. I've never turned on the ringer or the vibration. I don't check my phone. I really don't care about phone. So anyway, that's that for that. I finished rolling my bread. I'll catch you later. Next podcast. Bye-bye.